Do I talk? Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, thank you for having me. And uh, my my job actually is communications assistant graphic artist, but uh, two years ago we, we decided to start this horse campground. And uh, it seems to have gone um, quite well so far. Last summer was a little tricky because it was rainy and all our campgrounds in general were slower, but we're hoping for a good summer. So I'm just going to do a quick little uh, presentation here. Um, let's see if this works. There we go. So the horse campground is part of the people campground, but it's uh, separate from the people part of it. We have a brochures over here to look at. And it's about 42 sites. And, uh, and the, the entire campground is 200 sites. So uh, the, the startup was mainly all volunteers. Awesome volunteers. Okay, now this is the one that plays. <laughs> Lori. <laughs> See, I'm a mouse person, not a clicker per There we go. Oh, that's how you do it. Sound? Where's our sound, Devin? Sound, video. Camping and riding at the Soggy Bluffs Conservation Area. A lot of our gated horse friends, they started it. Okay. This is CTV News. It's settling in time for Rita Cameron and her three friends who've brought their horses for a few days of camping and riding at the Saugeen Bluffs Conservation Area. A lot of our gated horse friends, they do a lot of, uh, a lot every weekend. They go to the States, they trailer. Saugeen Bluffs is just the third campground in all of Ontario to offer horse camping. A whole section of the campground is dedicated to horses and their owners to stay, play, and ride the trails specifically designed for them. There's not a lot of places in Canada, in the United States, it's very common. There's places all over provided. So this is kind of starting to open Canada up for this sort of thing, at least southern Ontario. The Soggy Bluff Conservation Authority had been trying to attract more campers to their Bluffs property for years. This idea came up at a recent meeting and in March opened to horse lovers province-wide. And the response has been terrific, just amazing. We've gotten people from all over southwestern Ontario just saying, this is great, there's nothing like this on this part of the province. So you know what, we don't have to get on the 400 series highways, we can just come here to Soggy Bluff. So it's been incredibly popular. With little investment of a few pens and pacing ring, Soggy Bluff has entered a new realm of camping, the four-legged kind. One that apparently has horse lovers pretty excited. We put a lot of money and a lot of work into these horses. So we want to take them different places to ride. It's a great experience for them. Um, uh, it gives us more experience and more time in the saddle. <laughs> Cameron says it's a lot of work and planning lugging their horses away for the week. You pack some saddles and a hay along with hammocks and hamburgers. If you love horses, it's more than worth it. Near Paisley, Scott Miller, CTV News. Okay. Now, just to make note there, in these pictures, there's um, temporary stall guards. We've since got metal gates for all the corrals now. So, um, yeah, so that's where it's located. Well, most of you folks know where it is now. So, um, so it's on about 300 acres. Um, and right now, there's about 15 kilometers plus of trails, and we're always working on making more trails. Um, the trails vary in difficulty. There's some that are good for beginners. Um, a lot of them are hilly and, uh, and winding, single tracked. You know, you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, so it's kind of fun that way. Um, and there's some really nice photo ops. This is one of them overlooking the Saugeen River. So for you gals, while you're out there riding, your husband might be down the river fishing. <laughs> you can maybe get a picture of him. Um, and you can take your horse right in the river too, which is kind of nice. I wouldn't do it early spring when it's going really fast. So the sites are, are a lot of them are quite large. Some of them, we can even have, a, you can do a pull through site if need be. Um, and we've got corrals at, I've lost count now, quite a few sites, but then there's also um, sites that are good for highlining too, if you want to do that. Um, 
And some sites, you know, you can, they set up tents on them as well. So, yeah. Or you can rent one of our cozy little monkeys. We have three right now. Um, and we also have two um, RV trailers to rent as well. So if you don't have your own living. And each one comes with a picnic table, barbecue, and a fire pit, and two corrals. There's washrooms right nearby. And uh, now, just last fall, they finished putting water at every site. So no more hauling buckets or hoses. <clears throat> so there's lots of things to do. And, uh, you know, there's uh, the beach. Uh, Port Elgin is only 15 minutes or so if you want to go to the beach um, and fishing and uh, hiking and that sort of thing. Um, then you can also take a nice little ride down through the bush to the general store, and there's hitch posts outside the store. And uh, so you're going to get your ice cream cone and sit there and have it with your horse. And it's a very well-stocked store run by uh, Gail from um, Paisley Fresh Mart. So, and there's also, at that bottom area, is a shower building and a laundromat. Um, you can't really hitch your horses at the shower building. Probably better not to. <laughs> but you can hose your horse off in the horse campground. So we also, last summer, we had a great number of clinics that were really well attended, and we'll be doing the same this year. And I'll be working on the lineup of clinics very soon, so we'll be posting it on our Facebook site. And, well, that's just the address. It's boring. Um, during the camping season, um, you can call the bluffs directly for questions. Um, that's from May to October. And in the off-season, you can call the general office. So it's well worth the visit. And you might also want to consider a membership with the Friends of the Saugeen Horse Club. We have some T-shirts over there to help support and grow this wonderful campground. Thank you. Jennifer. <laughs> we have the 2017 fees. They should be hopefully the same, I would think. So the, the price is different for if you rent a bunkie or if you just want a site or whatever. So um, just a daily with no corrals is 45 or with two corrals is 60. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> what is the maximum number of horses that a camper can bring? The maximum number that you can bring? So can I bring two, three, four? Well, each site is set up for two horses, but I have seen them where some gals brought three and they added kind of extra gates in between the corrals because there's enough space in between and they had their three horses there. Um, but there's no limit. You can bring as many as you want. You just may have to get an, an, another, an adjoining site for the corrals or whatever. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh. Okay, I have a question. You were mentioning riding. Is it also driving, like carriage driving? It's um, not friendly. Yeah, it's not really. Okay. Because it is so windy, hilly. Um, now you're welcome to come and use the event ring. Mm -hmm. Um, and we did have a team of um, Pertrans that came and went down to the people camp and gave wagon rides to the regular campers. Um, but it's not probably real set up for the carriage driving. Oh, yeah. Good. Thank you. Okay. Oh. It's got you, you do this running. On purpose, right? <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. um, are the grounds available to rent if you wanted to run a clinic yourself? Absolutely, okay. yes. Just get a hold of me. What sort of clinics did you have in the past? Um, last year we had the, um, oh, my mind's just gone blank. Extreme Cowboy. Extreme Cowboy, yes, that was pretty good. And then they had a jackpot race at the end of that. 
and Cindy Firth, yes, the um, Mounted pa Patrol. Um, that's right. It was a three-day despook clinic, which was pretty neat. And the cow flag and the, what was the other? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> just so everybody can hear you. The, uh, we did flag, and um, it's another um, version of a Western um, pattern work clinic. Right, um, and those were one-day clinics, and yes. uh, they were pretty popular. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, yeah, so we're open to any ideas for, for clinics, too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Would you guys be open to setting up um, like a small cross country thing? I don't think there's many places around here you could go and go for a day to train or just small entry level stuff. Absolutely, and it would be an awesome area for that. Yeah. Okay, we're done now. Thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine.